Howard Stern is the envy of anybody who interviews anybody for a living. Uh, an absurd amount of time is granted to him. And also the anything goes, ask anything. Like who in the world getting Tom Brady to call in or sit down for an interview would say, your childhood idol, Joe Montana, went to four Super Bowls, won them all. You've gone to nine Super Bowls. You've won two-thirds of them. Nobody's won more than you. Nobody may never win any more than you. But there's an argument. Who's the all-time great, you or your idol? And who's better, you or your idol? And Howard went there. Do you believe you are better than Joe Montana? And I want the true no. answer. That's a lie. No. You're lying now. <laughs> <laughs> you have the Super Bowl no, rings. Would... You have all. You have you have defeated Joe Montana in every way, and yet you don't think you're better than him. Um. Again, it's an impossible question to answer. Tell the truth. Well, my default when you lay down at no, night, you are I... better than Joe Montana. I've accomplished. I've had more Super Bowl rings than him. I think it's objective, right. and I think. No, it's, it's not. I think you know. <laughs> Listen uh, to me. I'm You're never, greater than Joe sorry, Montana, Tom. <laughs> Tom, say it proudly. Thank you for saying that. I can't say that. I would never say that. I think that everyone, you know, I, I, that's not how. Can I say this? Not how I think about myself. You know, the only thing that I care about is, am I the best I could be? That's really what I care about. That's what you I've are tried the to be best. for my entire career. I'm the Listen. best I could be. <laughs> what a great back and forth. When you lay your head when down. When you lay your head down. down. <laughs> Cut the crap, Tom. You're better than him. I mean, he's so good. It would have been great to hear Brady say, yeah, I am. Well, he'll never say that. Never he do doesn't. That. No, I understand he's not a that, chest thumper. But it would have been cool. But he did say at one point, I do have more rings than him. He does. More accomplished. He does have more rings. Think about that. Montana and Walsh. Again, a perfect, it's a perfect encapsulation of why we'll never see Brady and Belichick repeated in any quarterback coach combination again. Again, Montana showed up, technically, you could say, on the back end of Walsh's career, right? Yeah. Bill Walsh, Bill. Yeah, they were together nine seasons. I understand yeah, that. But, still, but yeah. Bill Walsh was. I mean, when did Bill Walsh retire? Uh, at he what was, age? Can you determine that? I don't know if you can oh, determine that. Yeah, That's yeah, going to take yeah, some research on. plus math. Research plus yeah, math yeah. equals taking some time. But, I mean, Belichick was a man in his late 40s when Tom Brady got drafted. Was Walsh in his late 40s? when, And then and then he decides to retire. He does go coach for Stanford. But, I mean, he had already been a coach for a very, very long time and – and in the Paul Brown system, finally gets his shot. Yeah, so Walsh took over the 49ers in 1979. He was 48. Okay. Wow. And then so coach, I guess he could have. It is coach, similar. Coach 10 years, so he right. retired at 58. Right. So he retired a little bit early. He could have done what Belichick, he could have done he him and Montana stayed. together, right? But even then, even more. then Steve Young comes in and blows that whole thing up. That they decided to move on from Montana. Who still had some more years, as you know, of viability and championship quality to go to Kansas City. And but he missed a whole season with a broken back. He did. Yeah. But just another another point. Like Brady missed one whole season, I guess, with a with a knee and was able to come back. So coaches retire. Quarterbacks get hurt. Franchises get spooked and need to find the next one right away. And usually the next one right away is the one who wins these battles. And just this case with Garoppolo being the next one right away, I guess, gets sent away. So many things can crop up and break it up. Didn't happen with Brady and Belichick for 20 years. 20 years. So when it does come down to it, who's better, who's greater, I mean... Did Montana sit there in San Francisco with Bill Walsh for another 10 years? If he had, and those five of those next 10 years were pre-salary cap, you know, free agency world, or a pre-free a free agency world, not salary cap, but pre-free agency world. 
So for five years, there was no free agency as we know it. Could he have won two more times? Could they have gone to the Super Bowl five more times? Right? Goat. That's what I'm saying. He's a goat. With all due respect. I'm about to, with all due respect, George Seifert. But he inherited, have, he inherited uh, a loaded team. Yeah, he did. So would Montana have been 6-3 and three all time in Super Bowls if Walsh had stuck around for another 10 years? Could Montana have played that long? I don't think so, right? He, he retired better. in the middle of the 90s. He was, let's see. It's just amazing how this has got to, it's all the stars have to align. Again, also, Brady is one of the more conditioned players we've ever seen yeah. in all of sports. Right. Again, Brady, Brady, um, Andy Reid's got us coach till he's in his 80s and win five Super Bowls and go to eight more over the next 17 years with um, Mahomes to match Brady and Belichick. Right? Andy Reid's in his 60s right now. Andy Reid is like 62. He has to he has to legitimately coach until he's an he's an 80-year-old Andy Reid out there. He's got to use the machine in the he's basement. He's got to he's got to use got That's probably why he's got yep. that elliptical slash stair master in his Another 20. in his uh <laughs> Andy Reid is 62. He's 62. So he's got to coach till he's 79 years old and go to eight more Super Bowls and win um, five of them. How many coaches have to ever? Ma- and Mahomes can't go anywhere and not get right. and, and 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 that's to match what Brady and Belichick have done. How many coaches have coached till they're seventy nine? I don't think ever. Yeah, that's... Was Marv Levy that old? I don't think so. Look, and that's why Andy's yeah. got that towel on the on on his. There he is. He's ready to go. He's ready to go. He's ready to that 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 looks like a guy who can be who can coach till he's seventy nine. Certainly with that towel over his. It's just been used. It's been freshly used. Marv Levy retired when he was 72. Although I think he should use a little bit more sunlight there. You know. Open those blinds. How old is John Harbaugh right now? Look that one up. Because he and Lamar Jackson. 57. Okay, so he's got a coach till he's 75. Oof. Right. He's got a coach till he's 75 and win and, seven, and, win, and win and win six of the nine Super Bowls he and Lamar Jackson have to go to in the next 18 years in order to match what Brady and Belichick just did. Yeah, it's, it's insane. Yeah, it's nuts. So it's I crazy. guess that's another part of the apples and oranges about who's greater, Brady or or Montana. Ask a Niner fan, though, and that's an open and shut question. Open and shut. They won't even, I, I don't even think. They won't even. A Niner fan will even entertain the conversation. No. no. Joe never lost. That's what they'll say. Right. Joe never lost. And Tom went to twice as many. I know that. But Tom, Tom, the most Tom's ever won in a row is three. Joe went to four. Yeah, he's like. <laughs> like. Like Crazy. the Tyreek the Tyree catch blew right, up that right. part of the argument. And, and you know he what? Won four in a Niner row fans won that can one. live in denial for the rest of the I'm lives. telling you, I've spoken to Niner fans who are like, just open and shut question. Open and shut. I mean, I love Montana, Notre Dame. Brady's better than Montana. And I'll sit and say that. Montana clearly I mean, in his era. Spoken well, like, like a true Notre Dame guy I from New to. Jersey went to Seton Hall. And here's well, a hot take. <laughs> Because Brady, well, no, last... Notre Dame fans, uh, literally, like sixty percent of Notre Dame fans didn't go to the school. No, I think the more second than that. half of Brady's career is better than Montana's whole career. Hmm. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.